This question came in from Aviator Trucker on YouTube. The question was, VOR to VOR navigation. Using the navigation button does selecting the next en route VOR with VOR2 during uninterrupted flight due to selection passage to and from. If you select the heading button and then go back to nav button, does the aircraft want to do a 360 degree turn to recapture radial? Hopefully in my demonstration coming up next, uh, you'll see that nothing abnormal except for possible autopilot uh, disengagement during switching up buttons. But it, overall, in my demonstration, the result was that it operated normally. Welcome to V1 Pilot Garmin 1000 VR to VR training. This request came in from Aviator Trucker on YouTube. They were looking for a VOR to VOR using navigation button and navigating VOR en route with VOR2. And the question was asked if you can make an uninterrupted flight due to station to and from changes, but then go back to nav and the aircraft attempts to do a 360 degree turn to try to recapture a radial. So we're going to simulate here. Today we're here at Farmingdale. We're going to be flying a flight plan from Farmingdale to DPK VOR to Calton VOR. So with the flight plan from Farmingdale Republic Airport to Deer Park VOR, then on to Calton VOR, we have a NAV1. We have 17.7 .7 Deer Park VOR. Nav 2, we have 17.2. Also in GPS, I set up as a backup farm delta DPK and then from DPK to Calton. For the autopilot is engaged. We have autopilot, we have VOR, and we have the CDI set up on Nav 1. There's Nav 2, there is GPS and VOR. What you do have to make sure if you do interchange between CDI needles, you do have to go back. Usually sometimes it kicks it out of uh, the current mode, navigation mode. So you go back to pressing the nav button and they'll put it back into VR. That might be some of the issues you have when you're navigating in route that when you change CDI or press a button, you get these weird electronic issues where it kicks it off. Okay, now we're currently flying from Farmdale. At 120 knots, we have the VOR autopilot engaged, and it's showing a countdown on the GPS of 5.6, 5.5. You also see NAV1, the uh, nautical miles are counting down. NAV1, we have 117.7 Deer Park. So it's operating off of NAV1, VOR1, to Deer Park VOR. Okay, we're still navigating to Deer Park VR on Nav 1. Normally, I put in the backup, I put in my next uh, VR. So here we're navigating from Deer Park to Calton. Calton is 117.2, so I put in Nav 1, but Aviator Trucker was using Nav 2 for Calton. Uh, you could flip flop like that, but with the Garmin 1000, sometimes that kicks off the uh, Nav modes. But we'll go ahead and Give this a try. We're getting closer to uh, Deer Park VR. We're 1.5 from Deer Park VR, and we'll switch it over to uh, the Calton. Most likely, this might lose its nav, and we may have to re-engage the VR. But that might be some of the weird electronic stuff that you're seeing, uh, aviation trucker. But we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, we're coming up to our waypoint, which will be uh, Deer Park VOR in a couple seconds. Now it's automatically navigating off of, uh, I'll switch to GPS here, but we'll see VOR. So it's still VOR1, but it's looking like it's actually navigating VOR1. 
Deer Park off of that. It doesn't look like to see like it lost anything. But we'll switch it over to the second nav, Calton VR. And you notice it lost its thing, but we have to change the CDI to VR2. And you'll see it's switching. It's giving a, a roll. So we have to actually re-engage nav to get our VOR. Autopilot still engaged. I'm going to center the heading bug here to realign with the direction of 087 that I'm flying on a mag compass. And it looks like it's heading to Calverton VOR. It's doing its countdown. Now we're going to play with the heading indicator. Uh, heading mode. So we switch to heading. And I don't see anything unusual happening with the nav. So we're, we're operating off of nav 2 to Calverton. We're still off of VOR 2. We're using heading mode. If I go back to nav. And it's going back to VOR. So I'm not seeing, it, seeing any unusual errors of a complete course reversal. Uh, about the only thing we do have, if we, if you start switching between frequencies and CDI needles, it may kick off this autopilot. Uh, I can't explain that. It's one of those unusual electronic uh, things that happen. Hopefully this answers your question. But this is uh, VR to VR in route navigation using the Garmin 1000. Thank you for visiting uh, V1 Pilot.